Hi guys, welcome back to NASA's Tread. So we'll be making this top today. I saw um, this design on Instagram and I decided to give it a try. So come with me, let me show you how to make this and the mistakes I made. So this is what we'll be needing for this. Um, a pressing button, an elastic if you need one, and then your fabric. So I'm using um, a Duchess fabric, which is two yards. Now the first thing I would advise is you drop this out on a pattern paper firstly before you um, transfer to your fabric okay so that mm. is like the first thing i noticed so that you don't waste your fabric so i'm just folding my fabric into two i uh, will cut out the front part of this first before i go on to cut it the other part now we you note that it's a cut together sleeve one the back is open to that's like a splitted back too and it has like an overlap too at the back all right so these are the things you should note about this so the first thing i'll do is to do a line to mark out my shoulder line okay that's um the starting point of our dress our top rather so i'm just ruling the line across for that And the next thing I'll do is to mark my neckline. So I'm marking um, a neckline of three inches of width to four inches of depth. Now for this two, I would advise you use three is to three inches. That's because the back is open, so you still have ease of wearing this. So I advise you use three is to three instead of using three is to four. Okay then i'll go ahead and connect this now this is because um the neck shouldn't be too wild it shouldn't be too wide okay not too open so i'll just use my cover and connect that point like so all right then after which i'll mark how long i want this to be remember i said it's the cut together sleeve so whatever length you mark for yours go ahead and add one inch extra for your hemming allowance and then come down at that point by one inch which will serve as um your shoulder slant or your shoulder slope and then slope it together with a row just go ahead and use your row to make the connection from the neckline into down to the point where you marked your shoulder slant So we have that down then the next now mark is the arm opening that's how much i want this to open now if you notice from the picture the opening of the arm that is the sleeve opening it's not too wide so you want to do use um, a measurement that is accurate for your body okay so you want something that is accurate because it gets to the wrist area so you know the wrist area it's not so big so ensure the measurement you're taking there is accurate enough for that area so i went ahead to mark eight inches for mine then i'm marking my bust point then i'm going to mark indicate my half length but i didn't i didn't later use this sorry but what i will use is the full length of the stop now you should also note that the top has a band underneath that's tied to the back okay so whatever length you're using for your full length and show you my nose the length of your band now your band can be two inches wide three inches wide or four inches wide depending on what you want it to be depending on your choice right so i went ahead to mark the full length of this what i want for mine right my nursing my length so i want the full length of my top to be 22 inches right but i'm going to mark 20 inches instead now this is because two inches will be for my band like i said earlier i hope you got that right so whatever you're using for your full length take out the band that's the measurement of the band if you're using a four inches band and you want your your top to be 22 inches at the end of the day minus four inches from 22 all right and i just wrote a line there so what i want to do is to take quarter of my bust measurement now my bust is 34 divided by four i have eight and a half and i went ahead to mark it down as much as this is a very lovely top it is not a fitted top it doesn't come with that right so it's more like um 
will I say a boo boo kind of top? Like the measurements are kind of like that, but not exactly that, all right? So you want to add allowances to this. So I went ahead to add five inch, so you can add from four inches upwards to what you want for yours, depending on your body size, right? And how much you want this to be. So I'll be using the same um, measurement I have for the bust for the full length of this, because I will still work on that. So I'll go ahead and use my free hand to make my connection like so. So there we have it. This is, you can see we use the same measurement for the bust and also on the waist. This is going to serve perfectly because we'll still go on later to work on the waist area to give us um, a more fitted look. All right. So I'll just use my chalk to go through the lines again to ensure that the curves are well now you notice around the arm area it has a curve right there it should not be straight so that while you're stitching this down that after stitching your fabric is not pulling i don't know if you understand so by the time you iron this it should be smooth and i just went ahead to join my sleeve area together now you can make your sleeve longer like I always say, it depends on your choice. I just went ahead to cut it out with the scissors. So I've gone ahead to fold in another fabric. That's two piece, okay, for my back. Remember I said the back has an overlap. And on that back piece, I measured six inches. So the line you're seeing after the space, the space there before the line is six inches. And I'm placing my front piece after the line. So you want to ensure you place this accurately after the line. Now, um, another choice of fabric you can use for this, because I'm using a duchess, you can use a crepe fabric you can also use chiffon um, I have to cut it out I'm chasing out the front piece on the back but I'm not cutting um, the area where I added six inches yet so this is what we have now we'll be using the same neck width we have for the front we'll be using the same thing for the back all right because they have to meet at a point now for the neck depth i went back by one and a half i went down by one and a half inch for the front okay then i'm using my curve rule to connect the neckline together like so I'll just go ahead and cut out the neckline for the front sorry the back that we marked out and then take out our front piece so we can properly work on the back now up from the line area okay just watch closely I'm going in by three inches now the measurement you take for this this part depends on how open you want the back to be so if you want your back to be more exposed, you can go in more. If you want it to be least exposed, two and a half inches or three inches works better. Okay. But you don't want to cut out the entire fabric at the back. All right. So I just went ahead to use a curve rule to connect it together. You can use a straight rule for that area to be straight or you can use a curve rule. Okay. So we'll just cut this out. So we'll see what we're talking about. So this is what we have, all right? So I've gone ahead to pipe the neckline with a bias, right? You can see this is the neckline of the front. I piped, I piped it with a bias, okay? So you can use um, the same fabric you have or you can use a bias. Now we want to work on the waist area of the front. Now remember I said this is more than the waist. Like for me, okay, half of my waist is 15 inches right but i have more than that 
I have more than 15 inches here. So what you need to have on the front is half of your waist plus an extra two to three inches, okay? For joining together and also your ease allowance. I don't know if you understand that. So I went ahead to run um, a loose stitch on this, that's a gather stitch. And I'm going ahead to adjust this to have the measurement I need here. For me, what I need is 18 inches, right? One inch on both sides will serve as the stitching allowance. And then the extra one inch will serve as my ease allowance. Now, remember I said you need your ease allowance. So my half of my waist is 15 plus three inches extra that I need. I have 18 inches in total. So go ahead and do that calculation for yours so you can see. I'm just adjusting this to ensure I have what I need and I took the measurement and I had 18 inches exactly, right? So go ahead and do it for yours. Okay, so we'll go ahead later to stitch that down to give it um, a permanent, um, permanent to stay in place <laughs> so that it doesn't move. So for the back piece, I've also turned the neckline of the back, right? And I also turned our overlap area with a bias so i'm using a black bias so it's not so visible and this is the other piece of the back i went ahead to do the same thing so i want to join the shoulders together i'm going to place my fabric right side of fabric that's the front the front piece of our fabric to the back piece of our fabric press, placing them right side to right side of fabric Okay, so I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. And aligning the shoulders together. Okay, after which I'll go ahead and stitch it down with half of an inch. And I'll repeat the same thing for the other side. Now, ensure you don't um, encroach into the overlap area. That's the neckline area, where your neckline starts from. Because that is the overlap area. So you just have to stitch just the shoulder. Alright? Just stitch just the shoulder area. So this is what we have after I stitched it down. You can see it properly stitched and it's looking all nice. This is how it looks from the inside. And like I said, I've gone ahead to stitch this down the, the ruffle area or the gathers area so that it doesn't pull out later on, all right? So we want to work on the hem of our sleeve remember we added one inch to this so we'll be using that to hem the sleeve area by folding in half of an inch firstly and folding in another half of an inch after which we'll go ahead and join the sides together all right by one inch on both sides of the body of our dress so i've done that i've hemmed it down you can see so you want to use a matching color of thread um as your fabric no matter the color of fabric you're using ensure you use a matching color of thread right so you can see how this is how this looks like so for our band i'll go ahead and make a notch at the middle of the top that's folding it together to get the midpoint so i just went ahead to do that i've gone ahead to cut out this very long um piece that i'll be using for yours you can decide for it to be longer so that you can um from apart from wrapping it at the back you can also bring your rope to the front to tie okay so i took the measurement i have around this it was around um 31 inches that's while it was folded meaning i have about 60 plus inches all right as the length of the band i'm working with now remember i said i want my band to be two inches okay so i cut out a band of five inches of width now you want to consider the allowance the stitching allowance to your top okay in front and behind you want to consider the allowances you'll be adding when you cut out your band so that's what i did that's why mine is five inches instead so i made a notch to at the center of my band so that i can attach this to the top i have right so you want to make a pronounced notch at the center of your top okay at the point i was actually looking for mine because i couldn't find it anymore i had to go back to checking out the middle again so that i can do this so make a pronounced notch there so that you're not searching like myself 
and go ahead and pin around it so just use your pin pin the notch part of your band to the notch part of your top and then pin this all through to the left and to the right So we're going ahead to stitch this down, stitching from the back to the front. Now our band is placed um, the front of the band to the back part of our fabric. So like I said, you need extra inches for your stitching so that you can get accurately um, the inch you need for your band. Okay, so the extra inches serves as a stitching allowance for that so just take notice of that and watch closely how i'm stitching my band down so that i'm going to have a neat band at the end of the day I flip it over to the front and I'm using half of an inch to close down my band in front also so that you don't have any rough edges at all at all okay so that there are no rough edges after you finish doing this So this is how our band looks like after I finished. You can see the inside, it looks neat. The outside also looks very, very neat. So this is how your band should be like. And I went ahead to ensure I had two inches after this, okay? So if, like I said, you can extend it more, use more length for the band and use more length for, um, sorry, more width for the band and then more length for it so that you have enough to tie at the back or bring it to the front so remember we're using a pressing button for this so we've gotten to the point where we need to attach our pressing button to our top now on the overlap area as we have like this you need to position your top the way you want it to go either you want the right to be on the left or you want the left to be on the right okay it depends on your choice right then go ahead and position this properly. Make marks at the point you're going to sew down your pressing button to. Okay, so that's just simply what I'm doing. Just attaching this to marking, making my markings at the areas. Um, I also went ahead to add extra, extra pressing buttons to this. Now, the reason for this is because I didn't want mine to be too exposed, like my back to be too open. I noticed after stitching the first part of this, the first part of the pressing buttons, wearing it, by the time I tied this to the back, I had like some part of my waist showing at the back, not like some, like a lot more showing and I didn't want that. So in total for me, I actually used um, four, four pressing buttons more like two to one two to one so i used like four places i actually placed um pressing buttons for my four places so this is the final look of our top this is what it looks like after attaching pressing buttons to the sides i need it to be so i'm going to place them so that you see how it looks like so you can see the overlap at the back that's at the back of the top so let me know what you do differently for yours okay and let me know if i tried you know i tried so just give me a thumbs give this video a thumbs up okay and this was the result after wearing it all right so ensure you give this video a thumbs up if you've not subscribed subscribe to the channel and let me know if your thoughts in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video bye